This right here is a Tyrone 35 to 150 F2 to F2.8 and it might be the best or the only less that you need in your camera gear. So first, let's talk about the lens. This is the 35 uh, to 150. Um, it's an uh, f2 to f2.8 uh, which typically what you get is a uh, for example a 16 to 35 f2.8 or 24 to 70 2.8 and you get the 70 to 200 uh, f2.8 and that's what is called in the video world for photography world the trifecta now this lens is unique because of a couple of reasons one is that it doesn't follow those if it does a 35 to 150 meaning that you with two lenses you can cover the popular three-way but since it's, this is a 35 to 150 with the new Sony cameras you can do a crop sensor and you can do instead of 35 to 150 this becomes a 220 millimeter so technically you have a 35 to a 220 millimeter lens right here plus on top of that you can also use a clear imaging zoom um, which makes this lens ideal for travel where you don't want to be changing lenses you let's say for example you're on the beach or you want to capture the moment fast uh, this lens is ideal also for like wedding photographers, events, videographers, um, the fact that not having to switch lenses is, is the best thing you could do um, in order to get the shot and not miss it out. Alright guys, we're going to do a quick uh, focus test on the Tamron 35-150. to Let's see how it does. So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to get out of the frame. Do walk backwards, see how it picks it up, turn around, let's focus more, let's see how it is, all the way at 85, so The snappy all right let's do all the way to 150 so, so pick me up oh yeah all right so let's look into the lens so this material is made out of like a plastic but it, it feels robust um, it, it has here the um, weather seal so you know it's, um, it can handle some slight rain um, also it comes with a USB-C port where uh, this is used to um, link with the computer and they have the Tamron um, app where you can make changes what the focus ring do so this uh, rings it has three one two and three and this you can uh, make uh, shortcuts or for example you can make an a b uh, a focus point and a b focus point just by clicking one button or anything that your camera have that uh, 
one of the lens, Sony lens it has, you can assign any of the cameras uh, default ones. It has a um, AF button switch here, and it has three levels, so you can make three changes. For example, I have uh, number one, I can do Super 35, uh, and it's not three separate ones. Like it is one function, and all three does the same function. So when I press one time, um, it goes into Super 35 mode. If I have number two, for example. I can, instead of using the in focusing ring, I use it as an aperture ring, and number three, I uh, have uh, A and B focus point, so I can do smooth focus pull, and this just changes the game in that sense. Um, this comes with a 82 millimeter thread, it's a nice um, big um, uh, thread, and it comes with a nice lens hood that it has a like a locking uh, button that you press and then it's able to lock um, this uh, zoom lens extend so when it's fully extended um, you can see kind of how big it gets but it's kind of like the size of the 70 to 200. So you basically carrying a 70 to 200, but instead of starting at 70, you're starting at 35. Uh, it also has a locking switch, locking. So whenever you press that lock, uh, it won't open up in your bag. So that's another, another uh, nice thing to have. So right now I'll show you some shots I have taken with this lens. In my opinion, this lens is replaces so many things in my bag. It replaces 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 70, 85, 100, 135, and all the way to a 70 to 200. So you can you basically have uh, five lenses in one, and it starts at an f2. So most lenses they ended up at 2.8 and the fact that this start at two makes it such a kind of like a prime lens. So I thought it, uh, I would leave the spec right here, but technically at 35 in f2, around 40 is an f2.2, then f60, I think around 60, it goes up to like 2.5, and then at 85 is like a 2.8, and you stay at a 2.8 throughout the range, all the way to 150. Uh, also, I will leave the specs right here as well for um, how many optic elements and all the uh, statistic of this lens. So, do I recommend this lens? Definitely, um, this is not a budget lens. This comes at around $1,800. But when you think about all the lenses that you are uh, not having to purchase this makes it like a 20% out of what you would have to spend probably like 6,000 to get the same kind of range at that focal length but it also starts at 2 so it gives an advantage compared to all the 2.8 ones so I would definitely recommend this in a hard bit and the fact that it has a USB-C port so you don't need an additional thing to update the firmware and you just get sappy and it's very fast. Um, videos are sharp. Um, it's a well all around lens and I couldn't be happier with this lens. So what are the cons? Um, there's no perfect lens out there. Uh, and the con of this lens is the weight. So when you grab this lens, you know you have the lens. It won't be that 28 to 75 that I have here. It, 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 you feel it. This comes, I think, in uh, 2.5 pounds. And this is a chunky guy. It's thick. But doing everything that it does, um, I, I don't mind and just 
just do some extra curls at the gym or work out a little bit more but the weight um another con with this lens other than the weight is the the fact that it does not come with a oss which is the stabilizer for the lens so whenever you are zooming to um like for example 150 and you try and take a shot you can see those how hard it is to um, stabilize it. Every minimal movement it will show in the picture. And it is also true when taking videos, it shows more the vibrations and the movement. So have to use different system like a strap or a gimbal, but this is big. So a lot of compromises. So one thing I wish they could include in the next uh, version of this is OSS. Have an image stabilized and it would be perfect it will be perfect so that is it for this video i hope you find value out of this video so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below it will be highly appreciated i know you to tell me that 98 percent of you are not subscribed to this video so let's change that and let me know you got to this part by commenting a wolf emoji in the comments down below this is automatic and i'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ruff.